This is a common sight up in Canada where the Bombardier CL415 has been fighting fires for over a decade. The Canadian government owns several of these planes, commonly known as super scoopers. But it's an unexpected sight in Mission Bay where last month two of these yellow beasts made their grand entrance onto the San Diego scene. These will be available during the height of our fire, wildfire season and will certainly be able to go on the attack on a moment's notice. One big reason they're here is the fact that the height of our fire season is different to that of Canada's. Our forest fire season starts uh, in April, let's say from the 15th of April and it goes all the way to about the 15th of October. Chris Paquette is part of a team that, along with the super scoopers, flies south when Canada's wildfire season ends. This year, the county has made sure that Ramona is one of their destinations, leasing two super scoopers from the Canadian government. Their goal is to make sure that if any major wildfires break out, scenes like this will make firefighting that much more effective. If you look at the, 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 the airplane, it's just like a big float that is under a float plane usually. And that's one of the things that makes these planes so versatile. In fact, though many aircraft have been retrofitted to fight fires, the Super Scooper is the only plane that is manufactured specifically as an aerial firefighting machine. You're in an airplane and all of a sudden you're in a boat. The body design makes them highly maneuverable on the water, which is essential when they're scooping from a small or oddly shaped lake. In the air, the wing design allows the planes to fly low and slow over a fire so they can hit their target more accurately. Even the cockpit is designed to allow bigger windows with the instrument cluster lower and seats higher than most large aircraft. And of course, there are the scoops. Whenever you hear that famous story about the, uh, the uh, scuba diver that's found in the, the forest somewhere after a, a fire, it's a, just a, an urban legend. <laughs> That's because these scoopers aren't as super as you might think. To scoop the water off lakes, we take uh, these scoops or probes out. Yeah, that's it. Two four by six inch openings dipping into the lake. But believe it or not, that's all it takes to pick up 1,600 gallons of water in 12 seconds. It's just the, the, the air speed. That, there's no pumps or anything. It's just the, the air speed of the aircraft that takes the water inside those probes goes all the way up inside the tanks. And those tanks empty quickly when four doors open simultaneously under the plane, releasing either water or water mixed with foam over the target below. All of the Canadian pilots or uh, the guys from the province of Quebec that are flying uh, air well, super scoopers today are ex-bush pilots, so we were used to fly float planes and ski planes. One of their first jobs upon arriving in the county was to familiarize themselves with all the local water sources, which will become scooping points during a fire. What we check is our entry point and our exit, just to make sure that uh, it's always safe to, uh, we have a safe exit from the lake. If it's long enough, if there's any floating objects on it, or boats, or buoys, or rocks, Hopefully these super scoopers won't have to be called into action too often this fire season, but if they are, Chris and his colleagues are ready with a belly full of water and an eagerness not always found for one's job. I think people would be willing to pay and I'm getting paid for doing it. So. <laughs>